The way that we have historically interacted with the ocean under the category of exploration has been through the lens of science. The questions of modern science, the tools and techniques of modern science. Today's view of ocean science has been very strongly influenced by the voyage of the HMS Challenger, which happened 150 years ago and is understood to have been the first oceanographic voyage. We're able to stand on the shoulders of other explorers and pioneers that came before us. They use different technology. We're a little bit more advanced, but the same spirit is there. The Challenger produced 50 volumes of reports, which absolutely laid the foundation of ocean knowledge on which today's ocean exploration continues to build. As Americans, we've always been looking beyond the frontier, always exploring, having an eye towards new discoveries. Pilot has control. Pull the pin. We're uncovering so many new things that are really alien to us. But all of those are just stepping stones, building blocks to be able to gain a better understanding of the ocean. And you need those building blocks if we're going to be able to make the right decisions on how to interact with the ocean in the future, how we're going to manage our resources. We have climate change. We have ocean acidification, all of those things that, that scientists tell us about. Just as much as we see change on a climate scale here on the surface, all of that's happening underwater as well. It's not a quiet place. It's not a still place. There's currents that rip around these areas in the bottom of the ocean that are driving the circulation throughout the whole globe. To gain a better understanding of that is super important. Exploration should never just be centered on scientists. We should always center our exploration in a broader context. We should be able to take that exploration and translate it for the public, to give it to the public for them to be able to understand. And that's how we get the public excited about exploration. That's how we get the public excited about what lives in the deep ocean. And it's how we get that next generation of scientists. Pilot, dive super. Go ahead, dive super. Let's descend at 15 meters a minute, hold at 50. Good copy. The history of science as a field used to only study people who were considered scientists, who considered themselves to be scientists. And there is now a recognition that it's important to make that lens a bit wider. We look at the ocean one way, but you don't have to go too far working with different coastal communities where they see the ocean in a completely different way. In, in quiet bay. As a coastal Chumash person, everything in my culture includes the ocean. It means waves come in, the waves go out. The ocean was doing that before I was born. The ocean will continue to do that when I'm gone. We can't live without the ocean, but without us, she will go on. The ocean is absolutely essential to create the conditions for life on Earth. And it is up to us to take care of it and learn about it so that we can take better care of it. And we should do that in our own interests.